Hey, 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 everybody, how's it going? Siri Love Jav here, and today I'm playing a Shadow of a Tomb Raider. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how this game runs on sort of the lowest graphics. So right here on the screen, you can see I've got the lowest graphics set, texture quality, filtering, everything that's off is off. Everything else is set to the lowest it can possibly be. Texture filtering is at trilinear. Everything else is at low, basically. And it can't go any low than low, or lowest in the case of level of detail. So this is basically what the game's going to run on if you get the minimum system specs. And if you're wondering what are those minimum sp system specs, they are you need Windows 7, which is actually extremely low, an i3 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a NVIDIA GTX 660, or a GTX 1050 or a Radon HD 7770, 7770. And you need like 40 gigs of storage, but that shouldn't be an issue. DirectX, you don't need to worry about it. As long as you've got it, you're right. probably going to be good. Um, right here, you're just seeing some of this gameplay right now. I'm going through a town. Um, if you check out my other video on this game, you're going to see the high graphics. It looks amazing in high graphics, but to be honest, for a game that's this low end, to be running on like a low end system like this is pretty impressive, even with the Radon HD 7770. Like that is... That's pretty good. Um, a lot of computers are going to have that, especially if you're watching this video one or two years in the future. Your computer's probably going to be able to run something like this. Um, just for those of you guys who are wondering also with the memory, if you don't have 8 gigs of RAM, if you got 4 or 6, you are probably you can probably get it to work. There's going to be some lag, there might be some loading issues, you're going to need to make sure everything else is closed, but you're probably going to be able to get the game to work with like a low amount of uh, RAM. But you can see here, like it's still very fluid, it's very smooth. You do notice, like, there are, there Has is, like, a finer edge missing to the game, but it's still a beautiful game. It's still a great game to play. You still get the story. You've still got some great cutscenes. All the cutscenes are done. I think they're processed with your graphics card. So that's definitely going to affect some stuff. That's something you've definitely got to keep in mind. Like, the lower your graphics card, the lower these, like, cutscenes are going to look. Just, that's, that's what most games do now. It's just, like, you know, I figured it's worth mentioning. Here we're going to get into a little bit of action, so you're just going to see, like, the killing and all that. Like, there's still a smoothness to it. Um, you know, stuff, like, leaves still move when you walk through them. It's overall a great game, and for those who are wondering too, this is just the very beginning, so I'm not really ruining anything, but I'm going to cut it off here because what's going to happen is if it goes a little bit further after the shot, uh, you're going to get a little bit of story. So we're going to end it here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have questions, comments, or you want to know if your computer can run, go down below and ask in the comments. Until next time, peace.